Hi there and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at making a bokeh effect portrait using Photoshop 2020 using the new subject select tool to select our background and to select our images. Okay to do this um, here's the example I've got here you can see I've got a layer with a cut out face on it and a bokeh background which is a photograph you take where you deliberately unfocus the camera and point it at fairy lights. You could get a Christmas tree lights Take a picture of them, make sure you've got your camera setting on blur, and then you will get an effect like this. Okay, to do this, we're going to start with a background picture. We'll cut it out into this. We'll add some effects to the image, and we will add the other layer. So, first thing we're going to do is go File, Open. We're going to find our background picture. You can see the new version of Photoshop says it doesn't accept raw files, but if you click OK a couple of times, it magically does which is really nice. So for the latest version of your phone photographs, you'll be able to do this in Photoshop with no problem. Okay, once we've got this, we're going to be using a new tool. So we're going to duplicate the layer first. Click OK. Then we are going to use the select, and we're going to select the subject of the picture, which in that case is the face. So we click on subject, wait for it to process what it thinks the subject is, and you can see it automatically masks out what we want to do. Now we could use a layer mask, or if we're going to do it really simply, we're just going to cut the picture out straight away. So to do that, we press Control J on the keyboard, and we will then have our cutout face, which is absolutely perfect, exactly what we want to be able to use to do our bakey background. Now one of the other features that I want to show you is we want to add the, the background, the new background in, and we're going to do that by going File, and we're going to go to Place Embedded. We're going to find our picture, and it's going to embed it into the image as a separate layer. You can see it here. We want to rotate it round, so it's the other way round. So it's like that. So we turn it using the mouse. Once we've done that, press Enter, and then we can rescale it so that it fills the page how we want it to be. Okay. Now we want that to be behind the image of the face, so we click on the layer menu here, we drag that behind, and now we've got the face in front of the lights. You'll notice on the finished version, we've got the lights and the face all blended together. Now there are several ways of doing that. The most obvious way is to change the opacity of the face, like so, and you can see that it starts to blend in but you'll notice that it's not as bright or vivid as the one we've got here. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do first is put the opacity back to 100%. We're going to go to do some adjustments to our image of the face, and we're going to look at the color balance. We want to try and match some of these blues and reds in the background, so we're going to move the slider into the red section, and a bit more into the blue, and a bit more into the magenta. So we're really accentuating these tones in our image, like so. Once we're happy with our selection of these three sliders, we're going to click the OK button. And we've now got our face blending with the color scheme. And then to make the effect really work well, like I say, we could change the opacity, but it just tends to fade the image out. So instead, we're going to look at our layer modes. We're going to try them out and see what they do for different ones. Dark and makes it a bit too dark. Multiply is a bit silhouette -y. What we're looking for, maybe overlay? No. We're looking for the one that says hard light, and that keeps the background and the foreground linking together really nicely for this image. There we are. There is our adapted image, and you can see it works really effectively. Now, what we might experiment with depending on what your background is and whether it will work with the dots and the bokeh effect, is we could change the opacity of that layer slightly, making sure we've got our background open, and we could bring in some element of the beach, so it's like I'm at a beach party, and then you can compare which one you think is more effective, this one with the beach effect, or that one with just the background. There's not much in it, I'll change the view so you can see it, so I'm going to fit on screen, so then I'll be able to flick between the two. So we've got Gnome, and we've got the Beach effect. Okay, these are great ways to adapt and modify and improve and refine our photographs for our course. And we can do it with lots of things. So remember, it's the Select, and we're looking for 
the subject here. Okay, have fun experimenting with your photos. And um, if you've enjoyed this video, obviously pop over to the YouTube, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell and you'll see when I post new videos. Okay, thank you very much for watching and enjoy. Okay, thank you and goodbye.